Good to have you with us this hour. Well, we start the program with some breaking news. The CIA has lost control of the majority of its hacking arsenal, which could fall into the wrong hands around the world. That's according to the latest revelation from WikiLeaks. I want to draw attention uh, to a statement that the uh, president of Microsoft has put out. Uh, and this is something that we have been working on uh, as well and that a great many others have been calling for. Um, so here is the quote. Uh, Just as the fourth Geneva Convention has long protected civilians in times of war, we now need a digital Geneva Convention that will commit governments to protecting civilians from nation-state attacks in times of peace. And just as the fourth Geneva Convention uh, recognized that the protection of civilians required the active involvement of the Red Cross, protection against nation-state cyber attacks requires the active assistance of technology companies and companies like WikiLeaks, which can provide information about these attacks. The tech sector plays a unique role in the internet's, as the Internet's first responders, and we therefore should commit ourselves to a collective action which will make the Internet a safer place, affirming the role, our role, as a neutral digital Switzerland that assists people all over the world uh, uh, to be secure. The Central Intelligence Agency lost control uh, of its entire cyber weapons arsenal. What do I mean by cyber weapons? Uh, th those are weaponized viruses, trojans, uh, and malware designed to penetrate the uh, smartphones, smart TVs, uh, computer systems of the world, uh, and then control them, uh, disable them, uh, uh, insert information to them, extract information from them. Uh, now, this is a historic act uh, of uh, devastating incompetence to have created such an arsenal uh, and stored it uh, all in one place uh, and not secured it. Um, uh, WikiLeaks uh, discovered the material as a result of it being passed around a number of different uh, members of the US intelligence community out of control in an unauthorized fashion. Uh, just yesterday, we've had a, a tip off from a, a virus researcher who says that um, he believes that one of the viruses uh, whose uh, descriptions uh, we had published that infects uh, Apple Macintoshes, in particular their uh, uh, UFI uh, boot system, that he was attacked by that. Uh, so it looks like um, not only is that material uh, being spread around uh, contractors uh, and um, former um, American uh, computer hackers uh, for hire, but now may be uh, in, the, in the black market or is perhaps being used uh, by these uh, American hackers who sometimes uh, you know, cross both sides of the, of the, of the fence, they're called uh, gray hats. Uh, uh, in, uh, to attacking others. So the CIA developed a giant arsenal, the, uh, what appears to be the largest arsenal of Trojans and viruses in the world that attacks uh, most of the um, systems that uh, journalists, uh, people in government, politicians, uh, CEOs and average people use, uh, didn't secure it, lost control of it, and then uh, uh, appears to have covered up that fact. Uh, we see some press reportage, and we've detected uh, some things as well, uh, that the Central Intelligence Agency uh, became aware uh, within the last uh, couple of months uh, that it had um, lost that material, or that we had that material, uh, and uh, has not uh, disclosed that, uh, to the public at least, uh, has not warned the public, uh, that those loose uh, cyber weapons arsenal uh, is out there. Uh, it's a very interesting question, I think, about who it is told in government and when. Uh, has it told 
Did it tell Barack Obama? Did Barack Obama uh, conceal that uh, during the election, after the election? Uh, does, was President uh, Donald Trump uh, informed? Uh, and if so, why has the Central Intelligence Agency not acted with speed uh, to come together with Apple, Microsoft and other manufacturers uh, to defend us all uh, from its own weapon systems. Uh, now, this brings into question the in, entire uh, concept of cyber warfare uh, because it is our analysis uh, and stated also by many other experts that uh, it is impossible to keep effective control of cyber weapons. So what does that mean? Well, it means that if you build them, eventually you will lose them. They are just information. Uh, there's no barrier for, for them spreading uh, across the world. They must be used uh, on the internet. So they must be uh, placed on the internet uh, to be used. Uh, they must go to computers to infect them. Uh, and therefore, um, when that occurs, they can get out of control. And there's a very easy cover uh, for any grey market operator, contractor, uh, or rogue intelligence agent uh, to take that material and start uh, a company with it, start a consulting company, uh, a hacker for hire company. Uh, now we're very fortunate in this case uh, that uh, our sources step forward to us uh, so we can tell you uh, what has been going on and so uh, the various uh, uh, manufacturers like Apple, uh, Google and so on uh, can start to develop countermeasures. Now some of those countermeasures uh, have already been put in place according to the manufacturers in response to this. Uh, one or two virus companies uh, also say that they have developed countermeasures. Um, but others say that they need more information. Uh, now WikiLeaks has not published any uh, cyber weapons themselves. We've published documents uh, describing them. Why? It's fairly obvious. Uh, we don't want the journalists and people of the world uh, uh, and our sources being hacked uh, using uh, these weapons. But the problem is that with limited information about the details of how those cyber weapons operate, there is a limited ability to try and uh, produce security fixes uh, for iPhones, for Samsung TVs, for uh, uh, Android, phone, Android phones that are produced by Google, for Microsoft and for Linux, uh, because the exact technical details are not known. Now, uh, WikiLeaks has a lot more uh, information uh, on uh, what has been going on with the cyber weapons program. Uh, and so I want to announce uh, today that after uh, considering um, uh, what we think is the best way to proceed and uh, hearing these calls from um, some of the manufacturers. Uh, we have decided to uh, work with them uh, to give them some exclusive access uh, to the additional technical details we have uh, so that fixes uh, can be developed uh, and pushed out so people can be secured. And then once this material is effectively uh, disarmed uh, by us, by removing critical components, uh, we will publish uh, additional details uh, about uh, what has been occurring. Well, for more on this, we can now cross live to our correspondent in London, Polly Boyka. Polly, good to see you. Now, what implications might this report have? Well, they're calling this leak Vault 7, and they're claiming that this is the largest ever leak of secret CIA files. According to WikiLeaks, the CIA has lost control of the majority of its cyber weapons, this arsenal of cyber weapons that it has. Things like malware, viruses, trojans, and various remote control systems. So all the tricks that 
spies use in order to survey their targets. And what WikiLeaks is saying is that the CIA arsenal of these tricks has already been leaked and circulated among former government hackers. And WikiLeaks knows this because one of those former US government hackers has passed on parts of this dossier onto WikiLeaks. The files contain so-called weaponized exploits, so methods for spying on anyone, anywhere, through familiar devices, ones like Apple, Google and Microsoft phones. Even the iPhone that runs the presidential Twitter account could be subject to these vulnerabilities. And also, in conjunction with MI5, it appears in these files that the CIA has created a special type of malware that can infest uh, Samsung smart TVs, which all have covert microphones that can be turned on through this type of malware. And what's interesting here is that after the publication of the Snowden leaks, the Obama administration had obliged the CIA to uh, reveal any so-called vulnerabilities about all these devices, about the tech industry essentially. According to these documents, they haven't done that. They've hoarded all of these vulnerabilities in order to be able to use them themselves. But because their cyber arsenal, it seems now, isn't secure and it has turned out to not be secure, it's already, this information has already spread to other hackers and that clearly presents a security risk. WikiLeaks has said that the person that passed this information onto them, their source, wants to initiate a public debate about democratic oversight of cyber weapons, which of course is very reminiscent of the motives behind uh, Edward Snowden's leaks. And WikiLeaks say that their source and the organization itself is concerned that once a cyber weapon is loose the way that they're claiming this CIA arsenal is now unsecure, it can be spread very quickly, it can be used by bad people for nefarious purposes, cyber mafia, rival states, teenage hackers, you name it. So all this is about cyber proliferation. There are two layers of concern here. One is what the CIA is able to do and whether there is enough democratic oversight and accountability of the CIA's capabilities, but also concerns that those capabilities aren't even secure and anybody could get their hands on them. Okay, Polly, thank you so much for that update. That's RT's Polly Boyker there speaking to us live from London.